Shopify Craft Theme Customization. Now my name is Elias and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to customize the Shopify Craft Theme. Now the Craft Theme definitely is one of the best Shopify free themes out there and this kind of is a great way to build up an aesthetic good converting store. So to get started, if you don't already have the, have the craft theme, just click on the try theme right here. And this is then automatically going to install the craft theme onto your Shopify store. But as of right now, I'm just going to quickly head over to my dashboard and then I'm going to click on customize right here. This is going to bring up the Shopify theme editor, which can be a little bit complicating when first getting started. So no worries, we are going to go over everything in detail. Now, basically with this theme editor, you can just select certain kind of elements and you can then basically edit these elements on the right. And you can then also see a general overview of all across your website on the left right here. And you can then once again, basically select each of these elements, which will then bring up the different kind of settings on the right. If you do want to navigate to certain kind of pages within your website, you will just have to head over to home page right here. So basically to, the, to this navigation bar, and then you can select all sorts of different sites that you can then edit. So if you, for example, do want to edit the product page, you would just have to click on default product right here, and you can then go ahead and edit the product page for all your, for all your products essentially. But I'm just going to head back. Now, one other thing which is super important, uh, when basically customizing your store, uh, you should also click on mobile right here because this will basically allow you to see how your store is going to look like on mobile and nowadays basically the majority of all shoppers online uh, of all shoppers online are going to be from mobile and uh, so therefore it is super important to actually correctly optimize this for your needs so let's actually go through this from top to bottom. Now we are going to start off with an announcement bar. Now this announcement bar basically is just a great way to put out some incentivizers, to put out some special offers uh, on why people actually should buy from your store. So for example, I would then just select this first of all right here, and I would then just change the text right here to something like minus 20% off for all orders over, I don't know, 100 bucks okay um this is just kind of a special offer i guess and which will then get people into actually buying something of me just an example obviously then we can also actually make this clickable by adding a link onto this so if you for example do want to say okay this announcement bar should actually redirect the person to the products pages we could then just select products right here and we can then select all products and this is then going to update. And now if we're going to click on this, this is going to redirect us to the all products page. Perfect. Let's now head back to our home page and let's now actually continue with our header right here. Now, as you can see by default, our logo isn't actually going to be updated. So to change that, we are going to have to head over to the theme settings of our store. Now, the theme settings, as the name already suggests, are basically kind of the general settings for your theme. And this is going to include stuff like logo, colors, typography, and so on. And basically when uh, basically just uh, changing things right here, this is going to automatically update across all your website. And therefore you will just have to simply select logo right here and then you will have to once upload your logo. So I'm just going to click on select image and I'm then going to, I guess, just upload my black logo onto this. We can then also change around with the size of this by changing up this desktop logo width. So I guess I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, maybe something like this. Yeah, I guess, I guess this could work. And then we will also have to add a favicon. Now, a favicon basically is just uh, like the little icon that is going to show up on top all of your tabs. Um, I would actually recommend you to add this because this is kind of, uh, kind of giving your website a more professional feel, I guess. So uh, I will just quickly upload my favicon right here which is going to be a minimal logo for me. And then we can actually continue with this. Now, if you do want to, you can actually also set up some custom color schemes. I think Shopify usually does a pretty good job with the color schemes by default. However, if you do want to add some special colors, you will just have to click on add scheme right here, and then you can do that right here. Now, actually you can also tool, uh, use tools like coolers.co, uh, which are basically going to help you to find different kind of color palettes for your website. Um, you can use this. I think it's completely free. I'm not actually sponsored by them or anything. So make sure to use them if you do want to. So then if you do want to, you can also change the typography. You can change up uh, the buttons, animations, and so on. But as for the general theme settings, we are done right now.
By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. Let's now head back to the sections right here and let's now continue customizing our header. So to get started, we will actually have to set the desktop logo position. We are going to differentiate between top left, top center, as well as middle left and middle center. In my case, I'm just going to select middle left right here so that this logo is going to show up like on the left and next to the uh, menu right here. Then we can actually also customize this menu. So if you, for example, do want to add a new menu item onto this, you will just have to click on this little icon right here and then you can go ahead and under this menu you can then add new menu items so in this case we could then i don't know add my collections buttons onto this and this we can uh, then add we can then save this and once this is then going to be updated you can see that we now have this buttons thing right here which is then going to redirect the customer to the bottoms page Overall, super self-explanatory. Um, then, as for the desktop menu type, we can basically change this. We can change this to mega menu as well as to drawer right here. This drawer thing right here is just going to uh, open this pop-up. And then I will actually change this to the drop-down. And then we can also enable if we do want to have a sticky header for our website. Now, in most cases, I would actually recommend you to select on scroll up right here, because like this, if someone is, for example, um, way down your website, and if they're then going to slightly scroll up, your header is then going to be instantly visible and they can then navigate. They can then actually go ahead and purchase something because if you're just going to leave it at the default, they would then actually have to scroll all the way up again, which can really, which can, I, I guess this is annoying for some of customers if your website is quite large. So I'm just going to select on scroll up right here. I'm going to save this. And then you can also go ahead and further customize this by adding colors and so on. But we are now going to continue with this college thing right here. So basically with this, you are going to have different kind of blocks inside your section where you can then display Play different kind of collections so in this case i would then probably just um, add my bottoms collection onto this and i'm going to uh, add my tops collection right here and then they actually do have a preview of my two collections now we can actually also add new sections onto this and to do this you will just have to click on add section right here and this is then going to open the uh, open up this menu alternatively you can actually also just head to the left and you can then add all sorts of different sections right here which is i guess just a little bit more organized and then we can for example add i don't know let's let's for example add an image panel onto this so i'm just going to add this I'm actually going to delete this text right here because we already do have a text right here. So I'm just going to click on the bin icon right here. And then we can, first of all, go ahead and upload an image onto this. So in my case, I'm just going to quickly upload a random image that I found off the internet. So I'm just going to quickly da -da -da, upload this. We can then go ahead and further customize this. For example, in this case, I would probably change this text uh, and I would probably change the position to middle left right here. And then I'm going to change this to something like, I don't know, shop or newest products. You can then also go ahead and change this subheading right here and you can go ahead and change up the buttons. Now, in my case, I'm actually just only going to use one button. So I'm just going to delete the text of the other one. And like this, we only have one button available. And I'm then going to change this to something like shop or products. Then we can actually uh, link this onto our all products page. So just select it right here. Now we do have this set up and we can then also change the overall style of this by selecting this use outline button style thing right here if you do want to. Okay, then save this and you can then actually just even take this further. You can add some more sections onto this. And if you now would actually want to edit your product page, you would then just have to go ahead to products, default products right here, and you can then go ahead and add new elements onto this. For example, something like a collapsible content thing right here could work good, where you're then going to put in, an, I don't know, a FAQ, for example, and so on. Then once you're ready, make sure to check this for mobile. And if, and if this correctly is optimized, then you're basically ready to go. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.